A program called Swift and Sure has expanded in southwest Michigan. The goal is to reduce prison costs all while protecting the public. And Michigan State Senator John Prose joins me this morning. Thank you for being good here. Good it's good morning. to see you ahead of traveling. Absolutely. Well, it's an exciting week for everybody to say thanks and to give Thanksgiving, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this morning we want to know exactly where that program stands and, and where we're seeing the results. Well, we've, we've expanded the program to many different counties in the state, and every county is now eligible in the state to participate in SWIFT Insure. And the idea behind it is, is that we work with those offenders who are committing crimes in our communities but haven't scored their way into prison just yet to divert them from a life of crime and to divert them from the front door of our prison system, a prison system that costs us so much money in our taxpayer dollars, we need to divert them away from that with working with our sheriffs, working with the, the wraparound services that can be provided and really offering an opportunity for those folks to com stop committing crimes in our community. It decreases our prison costs by focusing on the front door issues that are causing those folks to end up in our prisons. Wow, hopefully changing lives along the way. I sure hope so. Well, you just announced that in Michigan, some really good news. Revenues are exceeding projections. At, you don't get to say that very often, and, and that has resulted actually in a surplus. How much of a surplus are we talking about? $440 million is what they're expecting, and that's in the most recent numbers. And that's over $700 million of new revenue that, over year to date. So sure. we're looking at huge numbers of increased uh, revenue coming into the state. And what's that about? Uh, that really is about an economy that's improving. It's about jobs coming back, 220,000 new private sector jobs in the last three years. Our unemployment rate has dropped from over 11% to around 9%. We're still out, not out of the woods. We still have work to do in Michigan, but I can tell you that, that our businesses are feeling a little bit better. Our families are a little bit more secure. We're seeing some income starting to rise again, and we're starting to see, I think, a, a new investment in, in the spirit of Michigan. So at this Thanksgiving time, I think it's a chance for us to, to stop and look at, at really some of the things that are really going very, very well in Michigan. And our Governor Snyder was out with the Republican governors in Arizona last week touting Michigan's comp and, and it really is a comeback that we can be proud of because we took it on the chin for a decade, Tricia. It was oh, terrible. Yeah, it was good to talk about surplus. We also, though, need to talk about the uh, legislation that's been passed to stop bridge card abuse in the state. Can you quickly touch on that and where it stands? Absolutely. We were at risk of losing $32 million from the federal government if we didn't make sure that we had the right uh, things in place to make sure that there wasn't abuse of the cards. Believe it or not, those bridge cards, which are public assistance for folks who need it, a hand up, not for a lifetime, but for a short period of time, they were able to use those cards to get cash at strip clubs, oh. at racetracks, at places that they really shouldn't be using bridge cards in the first place. So our taxpayer dollars were funding bad habits, and right. really bad habits that should not have our taxpayer dollars as a part of it. We've fixed that. Uh, now it'll be uh, eligible for us to continue to get those monies from the federal government and take care of those who need it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for dropping by and getting us up to speed on some of the state legislative news. And we wish you and your family the absolute best on this Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving okay? to you and your family, too.